Welcome everybody to another Scottish Watches Unboxed. In this video, you'll be seeing Fergus from Watchnosis unboxing the Smith Expedition. This is a great watch, which I wanted to buy myself, but I never pulled the trigger, then Brexit came in and, uh, you know, so I uh, didn't buy it in the end, but I'm glad to see that uh, Fergus did, and uh, so enjoy his video. Hello everyone and welcome to another Scottish Watches unboxing video. I'm Fergus at Watchnosis on Instagram and I'm going to give you a quick unboxing of the Smiths Everest Expedition PRS25 EXP. So I discovered this watch on Instagram, uh, oh the dangers of Instagram, with some amazing photos by people like Joey Cool and, and that really sparked my interest. Uh, I watched a couple of videos online as you do, uh, which piqued my interest even more so I decided to order one. The watch is sold uh, in the UK by Time Factors, which is owned and run by Eddie Platts. Eddie bought the rights to the Smith's name after the company had gone into administration in about, I don't know, the late 70s, I think. Um, Smith's used to be a giant of the watch and military instrument manufacturing industry in the UK. They'd, they'd made watch, uh, watches for the Admiralty. Uh, they'd made um, instruments, uh, speedometers, gauges for cars, aircrafts, motorcycles. But today, Eddie has been able to produce a line of Smith's watches that are sympathetic to the history uh, and they evoke the heritage, but they're also well made and very keenly priced. So I, I went online, hit add to cart, and then abruptly learned that Eddie has a unique business model to allow him to sustain his business by only opening the shop at certain times. I made a note of the next date and uh, stuck a reminder in my diary. However, I totally failed to appreciate how popular these watches are and um, because I didn't log on at exactly 1400 when the store opened, I was, I was sort of distracted watching the beginning of a Formula One race. But by the time I logged on a few minutes later, it was closed again. So, you know, uh, that was a bit of a disappointment. I was looking forward to a sort of a, a Christmas present to myself, but you know, patience has its own reward. So I tried a second time. And this time, you know, I was kind of, I was kind of hitting F5 every few seconds just before two o'clock. I was able to order the piece I wanted which is this one, the Expedition. Uh, it took just three days to arrive, so it's time now to have a look at it. So Eddie's own description says that the Everest Expedition is a nod to the Smith's A454, um, which is also known as the Antarctic because it was used by Sir Vivian Fuchs and Sir Edmund Hillary during their Trans-Antarctic Expedition of 1955 to 1958. It cost £325 plus uh, just under £10 for delivery, so really, really affordable. Um, and um, let's let's get into it. Right. So th this is the um, the UPS uh, packaging that it came with. Uh, there, there's no bubble wrap, no extra packaging. I'm afraid. So I just wanted to show you show you that. Um, and this is the box. Okay. So it comes with a sort of fairly uh, plain um, white cardboard outer box. Um, it does seem it does seem to be unhurt from the journey. Let me just see if I can. Open that up, okay. Right, so let's have a look. Right, oh, okay, right. So we have, let's move that out of the way. We have a little leaflet. Okay, so this is, um, let's have a look. Oh, that's nice. So it's, it's just a little bit of a, uh, overview of the watch. It has some uh, specifications on there and some instructions for setting the time uh, and some general care instructions. Good. Has, um, okay, some detail about the water resistance and uh, international guarantee. Oh, I really like that. That's good. And Okay, so here we are with the, the main um, Travel case. This red pill traveling case looks a lot like the Omega service pouch. Um, let's open it up and have a look. Okay. Right, so it comes with this extra tan leather strap 
looks to be, it feels nice actually, it feels really nice. Um, I like the sort of vintage um, buckle on that, really nice. Okay. Comes with a microfiber cloth as well. Time Factors microfiber cloth, that's appreciated. I always use those. And here's the watch, right. Let's take it out. Remove that. And here it is. Okay, that looks really nice. My first impressions are very positive. Still stick it up. Right, so yeah, 36 millimeter case. Um, it has a lug to lug of, I think it's 43 and a half. Um, so, you know, it will wear small, I think. Um, it has a height of, I should use this uh, cloth, here we go. Has a, a height of uh, 13, sorry, not 13, 11, 11.3 11 millimeters. So not, not too tall. Does have a domed sapphire crystal. Um, it's anti-magnetic. It has a lug spacing of 20 millimeters. Uh, so thankfully not 19 or anything odd. Although I just wonder, looking at the proportions, whether 18 would have been better, but no, it looks, looks good. Um, it's water resistant too, so it has a screw down crown, uh, water resistant to 100 meters. So you can happily go swimming with this. It weighs, it's actually heavier than I, than I thought it would be. So this weighs, uh, according to the specs, it weighs 140 grams, including the bracelet. So it's not overly heavy, but I guess because of the size, it feels, feels fairly heavy. I wonder whether it would be top heavy on the wrist. Um, has a screw back, as I said, screw down crown, has drilled lugs. I, I love drilled lugs, I'm a big fan, so I think that's really, really good. Let's just take this, um, we I'll just take that off so we can have a look at the dial. Okay, right, so this dial is, it's, it's really, uh, it really does look like a vintage piece. It's, I love the pale cream, in actual fact, the inner part of the dial Looks like it has a slightly, I don't know if you can see that, it looks like it has a slightly different shade of cream. Maybe it's my eyes. Um, but that, that's really, really nice. The hands are blued. So uh, they, they are thermally blued, which at this price I think must be unheard of. They're not chemically blued. So yeah, they, they do catch the light. I like that. The, I, love the, uh, I love the red uh, second hand there as it sweeps around and you've got kind of blue, powdery blue text and the Smiths logo, the traditional logo. So I think, I think this looks the part, I really do. Um, yeah, it has, as I said, it's got a sapphire crystal, a uh, domed sapphire crystal, not too domed, um, which is good. It has a, the, the movement is a Myota 9039. Um, so that's the, that's basically the, uh, it, the same as the 9015, except it doesn't have the ghost date position has a solid bracelet, it has rivets on the bracelet. I know they can be a bit divisive, but I, I don't mind them at all. I mean, I've got the, the 58 and, you know, as I said, that I never noticed the, the rivets on wrist, you know, they're, they're kind of invisible. Unless you look for them, I, know, I never think about it. So, so I think that's a good choice. I think it's, it's kind of, you know, in keeping with the, with the style of the watch, really. So yeah, it has a riveted bracelet, which looks really solid. Let's just have a look at the clasp. Oh, I like that. So it's got um, signed clasp. It's a little bit stiff to open. Yeah, so it's a really solid middle clasp. Very impressive. All right, let's 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 have a look at it on the wrist. I'll just take the 58 off. Obviously not sized for me, still stick it up so it's a bit stiff, but oh wow, that looks really good. Um, actually it wears a touch smaller than I thought it might. So pretty, you know, it's look, it looks vintage I would say. Yeah, definitely vintage proportions. Feels really nice. I, I was wrong actually, it, it's not too heavy, it feels balanced on the wrist. That's, um, oh, that's really good. So yeah, really, really nice piece. I was interested to see how it would compare to my to my Tudor Prince, which is another 36 mil piece. I'm just going to stick that on, so you can see whether how that wears. Because that, that wears, you know, the um, the Smiths actually wears quite small. So ah, yeah. So this 
This is a little gem, by the way. If you've not seen these before, you can still order them if you're quick from, from Asia. Beautiful um, watch. So that, that's the 36, but I think because of, of the fluted bezel, it actually wears, actually wears larger. Let's get the uh, Smiths back on rest. Okay, just going to test the loom. Let's see how it comes out. Uh, <coughs> nuke it up to use Gigi's phrase. Oh, that looks pretty good. So C3 loom, and I guess we'll see how that lasts, you know, over a period of time, but obviously not, you know, it's not dive watch levels of loom, but pretty good. I like the way the, the, the numbers are glowing there. It looks kind of vintage, I like that. So what are my impressions then? I think really, really good. Just to sum up, I think it's a solid watch. It feels great in on the wrist. Um, it looks truly vintage. It feels a touch heavier than I would have thought, but not too heavy. Um, it's well, well balanced on the wrist. It's got beautiful printing. Let me just see if I can zoom in again here. Yeah, it's got, got beautiful printing on the dial. Um, I love the dusty blue. I love the, um, the logo. I like, I like the red text as well. And that goes with the red second hand. I don't know if you can see it, but I, I love the way that the, the second hand, the lollipop is just skirting the, the edge of the inner part of the dial. Uh, so that just kind of brings it together. So yeah, fantastic uh, watch. Um, really pleased with this. Amazing value for money, I have to say. So that's about it for this quick unboxing and overview. I will be posting some pictures of this, no doubt, on my Instagram along with my other watches. Um, so do uh, give me a follow at Watch Gnosis. And do also let us know what else you'd like to see in the future uh, for the Scottish Watches unboxing channel. And please subscribe. And I'll see you next time.